Welcome back to DC Reviews and we're doing another keyboard review on the Ducky 1-2 Mini today. I got this used on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist um, let go. Very good resources to get used items at a substantial discount. <clears throat> so what I paid for it, I paid 75 bucks cash. Um, I think they go for anywhere between the 100 and 150 depending on where you get it i think i see it going for you know 150 on ebay sometimes um just pretty much because tfu the fortnite player is using it and everyone wants one because they think they're gonna be as good as him once they get this keyboard that's not true but it's a cool keyboard i have been using it for a week i like it a lot all right so it's already been unboxed. I've been using it for a week, so I'm just going to show you some of the things that come with it. Um, he gave me an extra set of keycaps. Pretty nice color, uh, purple, red scheme, pink. Comes with the user manual, a cable, USB-C that I'm not using. I have another one that I'm using that's longer because uh, my computer is far away so this six and a half six and a half feet cable is not long enough so i generally buy uh, eight to ten feet cables keycap puller which is pretty cool uh, i'll keep that out <coughs> almost manual keep it out this extra set i am not a big fan of this pink and purple so i'm just gonna keep it in the box and if i sell it Someone else can have it. What switches does it come with? Cherry RGB Silent Red. I like these switches. Now, they may not be the best for FPS gaming or something competitive, but they are. I, I like this switch for typing or just regular, you know, I got kids, so it's nice to be doing something aggressive and not waking them up at night per se um, so let's hear what it sounds like the space bar is a little on the louder side but everything else is muted you see how it's it, it, you can feel like it something is making it silent whereas compared to this glorious keyboard with the silver speeds this is what the silver speed sounds like silent silent reds Silver speed. Big difference. Now, if you feel the weight difference, the Glorious is much more substantial because it has like a metal, it's metal frame. The Ducky is all plastic, but it's nice. I, I do like the switches a lot. It is 60%, which is something that I really like for one reason or another. <coughs> it's got a nice Ducky logo here. The frame is pretty cool looking. Um, Ducky 1, 2 mini logo here as well. It's got a white plastic back or base and you do see the RGB shining through a little bit um, it's got pla it's got a uh, rubber feet and two sets two height two heights for these uh, fold-out feet so one two so that's a lot of height adjustment which is cool um, 
and I think the design is pretty attractive. It's not, you know, it's got these little cutouts. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's a little bit, I mean, the white some people may not want. They just want all, all black, which a lot of people are after. So, <clears throat> but yeah, um, I like this for typing over the silver speeds. I've always said the silver speeds are okay once you get used to it for typing, but it's not preferred. I'd much rather work on this keyboard than this one. <clears throat> I mean, as far as I have been using the Ducky for the last week, and it's, I'm not really tempted to go back to the Glorious, but I know the Glorious has the better switches for gaming, or for FPS, let's say. I have been playing a lot of Team Fight Tactics and Dota Underlords, and as some of you may know, all you need for that is a mouse. So let's get a look of let's get a look at one of these switches. I can't really see it with the RGB, so here they are. They're pink. Yeah, that's really it's got a nice substantial fail. Um And the keyboard overall was well made, uh, solid, you know, very good package. I, I kind of get why so many people buy this keyboard now because it is it is a uh, well built. Um, let me go over the RGB part of it. Let's look at backlight modes. This is a Taiwanese, Taiwan company, so. <clears throat> Taiwan company, so um, they have Chinese manual and the English is kind of back here. So pretty much you just press Alt F, F and Alt T. So T and you're kind of changing modes, this is a this is a uh, color change, slowly blends in and out. This is kind of like a raindrop, raindrop one, which is pretty cool. Not very bright, let's see if we change that. Brightness, Alt, F and Alt Z. Alt Z. Oh. Increase brightness, Alt Z, you know, X. Hmm. Now let's go through the other modes. This is off. Oh, no. This is dancing RGB. Looks alright. This. Oh, this is reactive to reactive RGB to your typing. One color, oh, they come on and slowly fade away. Breathing, oh, static. And spinning mode and off yeah I just like the normal RGB rainbow wave but uh, what I think about this I like the keyboard a lot for general purpose use and gaming is fine on it uh, the silent reds are really 
they have a good feel to them. I'd say they need like 50 grams of force. I think these require, these solar speeds require 40 to 45. So these are very nice. I don't like it when a keyboard is very, I mean, a, a, a key switch requires a lot of force to press. Because I've had one that was like 60, 65. And actually it was the, um, I forget the name of the switch, but it was the Halo True, that's what it was. It required about 60 grams to actuate the switch, but to go all the way down, it required 100. And after a few hours of that, you know, <clears throat> your hand and wrist is just screaming, it hurts, I don't like this. <laughs> Um, highly recommend this keyboard it's I want to say it's better than the glorious keyboard but it's very good and uh, if I was to only have the stucky keyboard I would be fine with that alright I'm signing out